Hello beautiful humans. Today I wanted to go over um, basically what I'm doing to help you make sure you can keep working out at home with everything going on in the world. I know either gyms are closing or you kind of want to take a step back and train at home. I totally respect that. And so what I wanted to do is share some equipment with you that I'm going to be including when I kind of put together videos on how you can do Stronger with Nikki at home. And as well, I mentioned I'm having my home program coming out soon in a couple weeks. And so these are once again, very similar pieces of equipment, which you will see in that. I will go over which ones you don't really need and which ones I would say, I would definitely recommend if you plan on working out at home. Most of these can be purchased online, think Amazon or even places like if you have Marshalls, Winners, uh, TJ Maxx, and if you like venturing out, those places normally have these kinds of equipment and I've gotten a lot of these from there in the past or from Amazon. So first and foremost, um, mini loop bands can be great. Normally these come in packs, a variety pack, which would include light, medium, heavy, and sometimes extra heavy. These are fantastic for workouts, for uh, warm ups, engagement, all those kinds of things. So definitely recommend these. Um, I utilize these quite a bit too, and these are the large loop bands. Now on Amazon, these come in packs of I think four or five, or you can buy them individually. They are more expensive though, so my suggestion is get the red one, that's it, you don't need any more. This is the one I use 95% of the time. So keep it simple, cost effective, the red one is fantastic. A skipping rope can be great for cardio. Um, I've been working outside and doing things like skipping and supersetting that with jumping jacks for like 10 minutes for a warm up. If you don't have a skipping rope, air skipping works really well too. It's the same thing, but without a rope. Uh, okay, last couple of pieces of equipment and that uh, stair bands. These are incredible and similar to the loop bands. Once again, come in different resistance. So example, I've got two colors here. I'm not sure if you can see, but this one is a bit more sheer. Uh, it has a less lower resistance. This one has a heavier resistance. So depending on the exercise and your strength, it's good to have a variety of these. Once again, TG Ma TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Amazon, all places you can grab these. And a pair of dumbbells. Now, when it comes to dumbbells, I started working at home, so I actually have a variety of these. I have, I think, from like seven pounds all the way up to 40 pounds. Most people do not have that variety, and I completely understand. You also don't want to be spending lots of money um, getting that many dumbbells. Realistically, I use my seven pound and 10 pound dumbbells the most. If you only want to invest in one pair, I would say you're better off getting a slightly lower weight because you could do a higher rep range but you won't be, be like, oh, this is too heavy, I can't do certain exercises. For example, when it comes to uh, tricep work, sometimes it's like, oh, 10s are too heavy for me, 7s are great. So um, be honest and realistic with yourself as to what would fit best for you, but like I said, the ones that I use the most when training at home are 7s and 10s. Um, I do have a kettlebell here at home. I bought this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those. You don't need it, you can absolutely use um, the dumbbell instead, hold it like this, works really well. And sliders. These are great. The brand for this one is RBX. You can order these online. You can also substitute these by using paper plates. If you have carpet, you can use towels on wood floor. You can use fuzzy socks. All of those are great alternatives to not have to buy these. And last but not least is an exercise ball. I actually did not use an exercise ball when I put together my home workout program just because a lot of us don't have space for these uh, all year round. But I will say that if you do have one at home, I will uh, show you some ways you can use it. It's great for some ab work. You can also use it for a substitute for bench stuff. Like you could do chest press on here, incline chest press on here, um, the stir, the pot, core workout and some things like that. So I will be putting together variations of the workouts from Stronger with Nikki and adding that to the members area and the Facebook group. So if you are kind of struggling with how to continue working out, that will be available for you until my home program does come out. And also if you are struggling with anything, please let me know. I'm happy to brainstorm with you and figure out some modifications for what you are able to do at home. All right. Thanks so much guys and stay safe.